All right, guys, we're headed out. Oh, no. Here are some of my favorites. I thought it'd be so fun to answer some questions. For my swimsuit, I have this one from Kalanikini. Good morning. Today we're going to go see the sunrise. It has been a tropical storm for what feels like weeks, but days here, and then the weather's just been not so good. So, it's over now. It's supposed to be clear skies this morning. The sunrise predictor says it should be good. So, we woke up early to go see it because I just need some much needed ocean time. And I'm so excited. We're also going to the beach. That's my favorite to look for shells. So I don't know if the shells will be there because when the waves come, they kind of disappear. But the wind's down today, so I'm hoping that they'll be brought up. We'll see. And I also wore a cute outfit so I can take some photos during the sunrise. So we have a lot going on. After this, I will also be doing a Q&A, which I'm really excited about. And luckily the beach is only like five minutes away, so we'll be there soon. We made it to the beach, and this is the drop off to get to it because of the storm. <laughs> One shoe down. But guys, look how pretty this guy already looks. Oh, it's gorgeous. I don't know if there will be many shells because it's not looking great, but looks like there's more than enough to have some fun. We got some sea glass already. It's not the best, it's still a little bit sharp, but this is so fun. Wait, awesome, look, look, look. Look at all these. They're just everywhere. No need to take these because the crabs live in them, but they're pretty. All right, guys, we're headed out. Oh, no. And it's definitely cold. It's definitely really cold. And the water is definitely murky. But the sunrise is so pretty right now. <gasps> we went in for the dunk. Look how pretty this is. After that storm in Florida, this is just like really healing my soul the exact therapy that I need. Oh, honestly, I really don't want to get out. Enough swimming, time to get out to go look for some seashells and we can still enjoy the sunrise. Towel dress is on and it's time to look for shells, my favorite part. They're definitely here. They're just super broken down from the storm. Oh, but hopefully we'll find some good ones. Got some more sea glass. Austin is just hanging out over there. I think this is gonna be a good one, guys. Let's see, <gasps> a cowrie shell. I used to think these were rare here, but I'm starting to feel like they're more common than I thought. Here are some of my favorites. They're so perfect. Okay, I really have to go now, but there's still just so many around, but I'm calling it quits. I can't do this anymore. It's over. All right, turning in, turning in. Now we just have to climb up the big hill again. For the most part, I'm fine temperature wise, but man, my feet, for some reason, in this weather, are freezing. I think it's because the sand is so cold, because the temperature got so cold, and then it just like suffocates them. And I definitely did not bring shoes. Our parking was up, but I wasn't ready to go yet, so Austin ran to the car and has been waiting for me. What a sweet guy. I am back home now. Fortunately, I couldn't talk that much because I had to rush home for work, which I'm just grateful that I'm able to do that and I'm able to go to the beach, see the sunrise, swim, and make it back for work because I live so close, so I'm gonna count my blessings. And honestly, I think I might go back at high tide. So high tide is when the water clears up and low tide is the best time to look for shells on the beach, but high tide's kind of fun because then I can like swim around and snorkel and see all the shells. So since I'm so happy that it's nice and clear and beautiful out, I think I'm gonna have Austin just drop me back off for a little bit. In the meantime though, I thought it'd be so fun to answer some questions. Forever ago, I asked my Instagram story what questions you guys wanna know. I'll answer the most common questions that I've been getting and kind of fill you in a little bit more of my life. So one of the most common questions I get is what do I do for work? To back up a little bit and mix what I did for school and all that stuff, a lot of people think I'm a marine biologist which I wish, that was always my dream my whole life. I told everyone that's what I was gonna be. And then college came and I thought to myself, I could either be a marine biologist and struggle with money a little bit, or I could get like a business degree or something like that and have money but be by the beach. So basically, I'm not rich or anything, but I chose a little bit more secure 
career path. And now I just live five minutes from the beach and two hours from the Keys and I'm always with animals so I'm still happy. I hope that I can just gain more money and get more animal experiences but anyways, I got my degree in Utah in communications and now I work for a law firm kind of in the communication sector of that from home which gives me all the free time to get to do social media too. But social media is definitely not my full-time job. It definitely takes more hours than a full-time job, but by no means is what I do. Someone asked my favorite type of shark, which I think this is a fun one. My favorite type of shark is a tiger shark and I've never swam with one, but it's my goal, my dream. So I'm hoping maybe this year I can go over to the Bahamas and swim at Tiger Beach, which is the thing that's always on Shark Week with super clear water. That would be a dream. How do you afford living in Florida? Why Florida in the grand scheme of things of the United States is definitely not the cheapest place to live. It's also nothing like California. And basically I scoured apartments when I was moving to South Florida because I'm originally from Tampa. I pay like $2,000 in rent. I'm right on the water. I'm right in the water of like a canal and then I'm like five minutes from the beach. To me, I think that's not like an insane price to pay. It's a two bedroom, one bath, very nicely furnished and redone done and I just think if you look around hard enough you will always find something. How did you build your following? I would love to make like a bigger video of this because basically I've started doing social media just this year not even a full year yet. I have always wanted to do social media so it's so cool that I've been able to grow what I have been able to grow and the best advice I could give you is number one in reality find something that makes people talk. I do videos like where the crocodiles live Obviously when I'm swimming, I don't think I'll see a crocodile. They do swim by, but I know it's safe. I know the area, but I pick out those keywords that will make people kind of talk or debate about it. And that really is what makes a video do well. And also just be authentic. Find something that's really you. I tried for so long to do like outfit videos or stuff like that that's not fully who I am. It's fun, but it's not what's like special about me. The video that really took me off was when I made a video of swimming around my grandparents' dock, which is something I've done my entire life. It's like my greatest passion. It's my favorite thing to do. And I just think it speaks volume to the fact that that's the thing that actually worked for me. I get a lot of questions too of where I live. So as I just said, I live in Palm Beach County. I grew up in Tampa. My grandparents live in the Florida Keys and it's only two hours away. So I'm always visiting them and they've lived there my whole life. So I kind of grew up being there and that's really the only home and house that's a constant my entire life. Besides that, I went one year of school in Florida and then the rest in Utah because I was like one of those angsty kids that said, I hate Florida, it's so boring, I want to change. And then as soon as I got there and experienced winter and had no ocean, I was miserable. <laughs> but I was basically stuck there. And then I graduated right when COVID started. So graduated in May 2020. And because I hated Utah so much, I was like, I need a big change. So I decided to move for a year to Hawaii. And I got a couple questions saying like, would I ever live in Hawaii or a place like that? Yes, I love Hawaii. My in-laws currently live there for work. To me, it's just the best place ever, but it's super hard. It's so far from all my family. It has like good and bad things. It's just completely different from Florida. I love the mountains. I love the wildlife there, but it's super hard. It's expensive and it's super hard working wise. I wanted to kind of start my career and make money. So Florida was just a better choice for that. Where do I want to travel to? And also what's my favorite place I've ever traveled to? This last summer I went to Bonaire and I absolutely loved it. The water was so beautiful. I also love Mexico. I really want to go to like Tahiti. That's my dream place. I want to swim with whales there. I'm hoping I can make that happen soon. I really want to go to Tiger Beach in the Bahamas, like I said. I'd love to go to like the coast of Spain. Obviously like places like Fiji are a dream, but they're so far away from me. Honestly, I'd be happy to go into any Caribbean island. They're all just my favorite. How long have you had your scuba certification? So I've had my scuba certification for over 10 years. I got it, I don't know, ninth grade, eighth to ninth grade, and it's one of my favorite things to do. I currently use it the most when I do coral outplanting and coral restoration, which is so fun, but I would highly recommend just having it. It's so much fun when you travel to a place and you're already certified, so you can kind of do one of those activities if you want to. Someone asked, I like this one, how you got so passionate about the sea? That's so fun. Really, it's coming through here. There's, there you go. And I love this one because honestly, who knows? I was born this way ever since I was like a young kid. I said I wanted to be a marine biologist. It started as a dolphin trainer, then a marine biologist. Obviously, I think it helped being in the Keys and being around all that stuff. 
but I always felt the most comfortable kind of like in that arena. I always collected like dolphin statues everywhere. And now I'm so passionate about it because honestly, it's like my peace. I have ADHD, my brain is always crazy. I feel kind of like a failure in a lot of things I do. And the ocean is the one place where number one, I feel confident feel at home, I feel like I know what I'm doing. And number two, I just feel like it's always changing, it's addicting, you never know what you're gonna see. You could go to the same spot like a million times and the encounter will always be different, the water will always be different, like everything about it will always be new. And I think that's so much fun. Or even just like looking for shells, that's always different. I don't know, there's something just so magical about it that I like crave and it's just my safe space and my peace. And then I think from that, I've just managed to become involved in little things like doing the coral outplanting. And it's just fun when you love something to kind of be a part of what other people are doing for it too. Do I have any siblings? Yes. I have an older brother that's four years older than me. And then I have a younger brother who's six years younger than me and he's a half brother, but we grew up together. And then a half sister who's 10 years younger than me which is wild and honestly, she's really my only friend. So I'm so glad that she existed. I remember when we were finding out the gender for her, I literally told my mom, I will be so mad if it's not a girl. So in the middle of class, she came in and gave me a rose just to tell me like, I can calm down and it is a girl. And I'm so grateful to just have all my siblings. They're the best. Every single one of them lives in Tampa technically and then my little brother is at FSE right now. It actually makes me depressed that my little brother is six years younger than me and he's able to be in college because I feel like I'm still like in high school. It's just wrong. I always get asked when I'm gonna have kids or if I'm gonna have kids because I'm 25. I've been married for five years and I've been with my husband for almost 10 years, which is wild. I just feel like what I just said, a kid. I feel like an actual child and I think it's so fun to be able to have a dog and to have money and to just like hang out with my husband and travel and live my best life and spend money on what I want to spend it on and to kind of have like this fun period of being a little selfish. I don't know how to explain it. I'm so excited to have kids. When I do have kids, I'm going to be very happy. They're going to be little ocean babies. But for now, I'm going to enjoy my free time because I got married very young. So now I'm just going to hang out for a little. That leads me on to the next one. I got married at 19 years old. We can just skip over that, but crazy thing. Luckily it worked out for me though, so no regrets. But we did have an alligator at a wedding, which is very fun. I feel like we're coming to a close on the questions. People will usually just ask the same thing. A couple people asked what breed my dog is. My dog's name is Hurley and he's a big little mutt. He was one of 12 and I was the first one to get the selection of the puppies at the Humane Society. And he was like so peacefully sitting there staring at me. I'm like, oh. I'll take this one, he's so sweet. And he's met some of his siblings. He is by far the craziest one. He is so poorly mannered. Everything about him is kind of bad, but we love him. What is your favorite sea animal? This is a hard one. I'd say a shark, but then the rest kind of mesh together. I love manatee, love whale, love dolphin, orca, like all those, they're all pretty leveled. All right, let's end with probably the most wholesome one of all. What makes you happy? That is so cute. All these were so sweet. Obviously the ocean makes me happy, being with my family makes me happy, looking for seashells and shark teeth made me so happy, going to experience a new place makes me happy, the sun makes me happy, feeling warm and not cold makes me happy, having like a clean, nice, pretty space makes me happy, being with good people makes me happy, clear water, bright blues, I could go on and on, but we'll end there. And now I'm gonna get ready to go back to the beach. My hair is not even dried from the first time and it's so crusty. One thing you should never do is sit with like salt in your hair, but life just happened and now we're just gonna get salt back in it. So what's done is done. Let's go. For my swimsuit, I have this one from Kalani Kini's that I've never worn and it is so fun and bright. My hair is still so crazy, but I kind of feel super fun and beachy. I'm just excited to spend some time in the sun. I have my bag all packed up, so let's get out of here. These waves are not really conducive to my shell finding idea. But honestly, I think I'm probably gonna swim anyways. And if that doesn't work, I'll just sit out. It is so pretty out though. Like, look how blue the sky is.
how's it going guys? I've just been laying out at the beach and it's been so nice. But let me tell you about my shell searching. I have so much fun. Honestly, it's usually much better, but it, if you can't hear, there's super big waves and that made it pretty murky. So we had fun anyways. This is my favorite shell of the day. Pretty big one. I've gotten a couple of these before. They're so pretty, but never one this big. Another big one I got is this spiny jewel box. Again, I find these all the time. I even got a couple today. Here's a smaller one I found. Never this big, and I love the detail on these so much. Here is this bonnet, which are one of my favorites. I just think they're made the cutest and prettiest ever. This one is so shiny and pretty. I can never pass up on the cutest scallops. And then I always pick up pretty coral. There's always so much of it here. I probably need to stop picking it up because I have just like pounds at home at this point. But yeah, nothing too crazy, but it's really fun. Oh, I also got this piece of a conch shell. Not like I don't already have too many conch shells at my house, but I kind of thought this was pretty. I don't know, like maybe sitting out and then some shells on top of it. No, I'm not sure. <laughs> It was quite chilly in there though, but now the sun has warmed me out. My hair, oh, I have so much sand in it. It's always so crazy after swimming in the waves, but always worth it. And then soon I'm gonna head back because I gotta check on work and then I gotta go to the dog park. So let's, let's lay out and enjoy our time a little more. 